Okay, so uh, I got about halfway, I think, maybe maybe a little less, but uh, yeah, I kind of came quite a bit in, and then I looked up towards the counter, as you can see right now, and I realized I wasn't recording. Liam felt almost dizzy with power. Had he finally just teamed up with an owl? Our transient transaction is complete, it seems. For now. So yeah, uh, I... Uh, <laughs> I can't... I was just playing along like uh, normally, or normally, as it does. And I looked up to the... Uh, to the corner where you can see where it is recording right now and I realized I wasn't recording so uh, yeah well I think she'd right have your head like Clooney's ferret on a spear if you ever tried to give it to her about first impression yeah they're gonna ask for the key that's all they do so yeah I know what I'm supposed to do <coughs> sorry about that and I did pick up a, a few things. Thank you. And I'm gonna William, retrace you my saved steps. Us. I can't thank you enough. I was afraid we'd never get away from those rats. Oi, Foxglove. I would have gotten us out of there eventually. I was working up a plan just when Liam showed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, buddy. <clears throat> sure you were. Albert told me you all left Lily Grove together, but then he got separated when a horde of rats came through. It was that horde that captured us. They showed up just moments after Albert disappeared. Oh, poor Albert. Mrs. Thatchling was giving him such a hard time. You know how she can be. He probably wandered off just to get away from her. Of course, Albert would never admit to that. No, never. Anyway, I'd been hearing something moving throughout the woods for a while, but Mrs. Thatchling kept telling me it was just my imagination. Well, it wasn't. If only she'd listened to me. Foxglove has the ears of a hare, Liam. You should encourage her to join the scouts. I'm content right where I am, dear. Foxglove, if you remember her, you you didn't see her, but uh, she was uh, <clears throat> well sneaking over to the church in Act One. It's her farm that we uh, sneak through, so uh, yeah, that that's her. I'm so glad you two were kept together. I've been separated from Sophia. Also, and she... I can't stop she feels worrying about her. This ordeal in the, uh, dress, would have you know, been a nightmare without Bruno. Scarf. I feel so much safer with him around. We can be scared together, you know? I know what you mean. I was only worried for you, Foxglove. That one rat kept eyeing your necklace like he wanted to steal it. I would have sucked him for that. Of course, dear. The rats were forcing us to roll barrels through camp and stack crates onto wheelbarrows. Nothing too terrible, but my paws are sore and calloused. I never thought we'd actually be attacked by rats. I mean, I know we were always told to prepare for it, but it never seemed real. Remember how we played rats and mice as Dibbons, Liam? Guess it was good practice, huh? Did either of you happen to overhear anything the rats were talking about? Maybe we could use something against them. I was trying to drown out their voices. Gave me a headache how they'd never hush up. I <laughs> did catch a bit, though. The two overseeing us just now are named Blood Whelp and Tooth Rip. They're always together. Seem like two peas in a pod. Although, poor Tooth Rip gets bullied by Blood Whelp any time this doe named Daisy Mace comes around. It's like he's trying to impress her. Oh. I can't believe I feel bad for a rat, but I do. Huh. Maybe even rats fall in love. I don't know. All creatures need love and companionship, don't they? 
I say they're just a bunch of heartless brutes. Shh. Daisy Mace's cheese leaves second in command, I believe. Or at least she's above the rest of the rats. Watch out for her. She has this glint of pure nastiness in her eyes. That scared Brunach stiff. And me, too. Though, she did have a certain feminine charm about her I almost envied. Like a femme fatale. A femme what's it? Femme fatale. Just something I read in a book once. Uh, I think it was... Yeah, never mind. <coughs> Thank you for rescuing us. Truly, Brunok and I are going to find a way to the big storage warehouse at the end of camp. We heard the rats haven't found a way in yet, so we might be safe there. Excellent idea. I'll meet you both there. When I found Sophia and Albert. I believe Ichabod and Columbine are trapped somewhere here as well. Ichabod's probably having a grand time trying to fight the whole horde himself. But, well, I know Columbine isn't too happy to be stuck here in the dirt. I'll be sure to find them and send them your way. Then, we'll work together to escape this camp. For now... Oops. Okay, so they did catch uh, Ichabod. Even though we managed to, uh, you know. Why did I pick up this one again? Well, <coughs> at least find again. Never mind. <coughs> oh. oh, it's coming on strong now. Uh. <laughs> Conveniently placed. Come on. Let me just see if I actually didn't forget something in here. No? Okay. Heads up. And over here was a yam can that I picked up. Um, there was <coughs> something, jeez. Oh, and uh, <coughs> watch this. One second. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, and um, I did figure out how to actually use the. Uh... Oi! Goodness me! Don't hurt me! Mole? I'm so sorry. I thought you were a rat. I'm a no vermin. <laughs> it's all right now. My name's Liam. Come on out. We've got to get out of here. Mm, oh no, I won't. I don't think I'll be staying right here. Mm. Rats are getting closer, but I can't get out unless. Hey, you're a mole. Mm, no, her, yes, um, oi, big glimmer. Nothing gets by you, young Mister Mouser. It's nice to meet you, Glimber, but I need your help. I've got to find my friends. Then you be going on then. Mm. <laughs> Listen. I've got an idea that'll get us both out of here. The rubble is too thick for me to dig through, but not for you. If you can dig through the rubble pile over there, I can protect you from the rats. Can you do that for me? Oh. <laughs> I've got to convince Glimber yeah, to trust it's another me. One of these. He's got to get out of there, or else the rats will catch us both. Liam could see the twinkle of fear in the young mole's eyes. But by Martin's guidance could sense the seeds of heroism at war within him. In order to get them both safely through those old minds, he'd have to inspire courage and help sow a desire to aid and serve in Glimmer. 
No, 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 no. If I just stay here in this closet, then Vermel will just pass on by. No need to be making a move for it. So what you do is that you just do like this. You can trust me, Glimber. I want to hide too. But there are lots of other woodlanders in this camp that need saving. And I'll need your help to rescue them. I do want to be helping other wood folk, or... Yes! Glimber wants to help others. Maybe I can use that to convince him to team up. Why don't you just be getting out of here yourself? Don't be wasting time here. I'm a Lily Grove scout. It's my job to protect woodlanders from vermin. If you come out, you can help me do just that. Lily Grove scout, or mouses be helping others, huh? Others like me. I think Glimmer might be starting to trust me. Does Mr. Liam be having a plan? What plan this be? We need to save as many of the Woodlander refugees as we can, as well as my fiance. To do that, we've got to create enough distractions to get the rats away from them. Mr. Liam think I can help his plan? I can do my best. I'm getting somewhere with this. Oh, I think Mr. Liam be better off without old Glimmer. I'll just be slowing you down. You only slow me down if you decide to slow me down. I could never leave you behind, Glimmer. No matter what. Besides, I can't get to the refugees without your digging claws to help. My digging be able to be helping. You sure? One step closer. Oh, I'm too scared, Mr. Liam. I can't move my feet. Every woodlander in this camp is scared too, Glimber. They need someone to help them. You could be that someone. You're right, Mr. Liam. I've got to do something. I've got to help. And you can help them, Glimber. We can help them together. Well, okay, Mr. Liam. We trust ya. Hurry, to the rubble. Can you get through it? I'd be good at digging. If I'd be good at anything, no. And if you fail, the door is gonna slam up open like that. And they catch you. More, more rats. Don't worry. Just stay calm. Oh, right. I'll st Good plan, Glimber. I'll signal when it's safe. I'm trying to remember that you haven't actually seen this. Uh, <coughs> okay, so how you do this is that you open I've got twice a witch she does. This stupid blood well. His eyes are on her even more than Jesus. What is wrong with my taste? Any rat with a taste for woodland flesh has got some. It's quite a straightforward puzzle. That's what I say. I could have cut. What was that noise? Back in my day, we had proper loot, not this garbage. Oh. Let's go, Glimmer. Grabbing that key like, like it's my business. <clears throat> Alright, and here's Ishabon and that other one that I don't remember. Oi! I didn't want your help! Mr. Cornsilk. You're in a cage, surrounded by rats, and you say you don't need any help? Are you serious? And how did you get here before us? Weren't you just in Old Moss Creek? Never mind that, Liam. What do you want, eh? Come on, Ichabod. Please, can't you help me out for once? Of course I do. Don't I always? Huh. Wait, I don't see the Ivy Wanes. Where is Belladora and Dorabella? I... Will, I... You don't know where they are? Aye. Which means there are more of us being treated like slaves somewhere else. Or she's still out in the wilds. Now, I've got to be going and rescuing her again. Of course it's what I'm best at. You seem very worried about Belladora. I... Will, I... I... I worry about lots of mice, don't I? I'm quite caring. 
Yes, of course you are. Did you see what the rats are doing here? They're building something, Liam. Something big. They were having us move all this gear earlier down to this camp. Building what? I couldn't tell. What are you guys self, why don't you? No idea, actually. Did you hear anything that might help us, Mr. Cornsilk? Any information? Only too much. Watch out for the big doe, you hear? She's a mean one. Daisy Mace. Looks like the second in command, and if you ask me, she's got what it takes to move to first. I might have heard her suggest that was her plan. You're not for certain? Well, she was far away. I haven't got the ears of a hare, you know. It seems no rat is loyal. The two overseeing me, Whiprider and Greybones, they're looking to defect from the Horde. Maybe start their own Horde. Or they'd be a fool to try and trick Clooney. Who knows? Did you just say Clooney? Well, of course Clooney is behind all this. Who else would start a war on Redwall? But Clooney is just a myth to scare Dibbons. What in Martin's name are they teaching you all in school these days? Nothing important or life-saving. It is the big yellow thing is the sun. And the green thing is the ground. Go for it. We've got more to do, you fool of a scout. Let's be off. Liam Rivermouse? I never thought I'd see you all the way out here. Thank you, dear. Thank you for helping us. Come on, Mrs. Thatchling. We better get you out of here. It's such a disgrace. This is a mouse that These said nasty you're imagining pirates have washed onto our shores. Completely ruined my weekday plans. But, really, I am so proud of how you've grown. Of course, Mrs. Thatchling. Can you help me with something? Be quick about it, dearie. So yeah, this is the uh, lady that said, and you imagining stuff. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and yeah, then got captured. captured. Mrs. Thatchling, what happened to you and the other refugees? Oh dear, it's a long and aggravating story. Where to even begin? I was leading us all through Old Moss Creek, headed, well, here, actually. Of course, we didn't realize the vermin had beaten us here. Hmm, anyhow, those rats came up out of nowhere and took us by surprise. We didn't have anywhere to run, and they have those big spears. So, we surrendered. Did they take you straight here? That's right. They had it all planned out. I hope those rats haven't hurt you at all. Making a doe dirty her dress is always a crime. I don't know how you young and stand those... pants. But I will admit you look absolutely charming in your scout's uniform. Oh, oh if only your father could see you. Hmm. Anyhow, we were forced to push around these ridiculous boxes as the rats gathered anything half useful they could find. What is it you're fixing to ask, dearie? Did you hear any useful knowledge, Mrs. Thatchling? Any eavesdropping? I'll let you in on a little secret. There is no one better at dropping eaves than old Columbine Thatchling. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you all the rat gossip. This one fellow named Bloodwelp. Disgusting name. I mean, who looks at a newborn babe and names it Bloodwelp? <laughs> even if it is a rat. Anyhow, he rambled on about how in love he is with Daisy May so much. I almost asked him to chew my ears off. Even rats fall in love? Except for I'm quite sure whoever Daisy Mace is, is more interested in wringing his throat than returning his affection. It's not going to do him any good. Trust me. I can't remember some of these names for uh, when I'm playing Warhammer. There was this doe, Whip Rider. She was a fascinating little rat, I do admit. I heard her and this other rat, a big old scarred rat named Greybones, muttering about what I think I heard was a revolt or a defect plan. They want to defect from the Horde. That might cause even more trouble. Something of the sort. 
I'd almost like to stick around and see, but that's probably unwise. Quite right, dear. Let's be off. I'm just gonna open the. There you two the are. Foxglove and Brunok are making their way to the warehouse at the end of camp. You two go meet up with them and wait for us there. Aye, aye. Why don't you read us a bedtime story and tuck in our quilts too? <laughs> oh, hush, you old grump. We'll head there straight away. Do give those horrible rats an extra dollop of stink eye for me, young scout. And we're gonna head down here. And about here. I realized that I wasn't recording. So, um... Now we are back to, um... Well, where I stopped, pretty much. What the? Okay. Sorry about this. Alright, that's all that's there. I don't really trust that though. Is that fish? No. Alright, let's go. And they left. This ah, tunnel could, yeah, I think Glimmer or Glimmer did this one. I'm more interested in this for now. Old Mole Old Mining Song. Whoops. And that thing is blocked. I'm quite sure I shall go that way, but... Okay, not that way. Let's check here first. Wow. I guess the chest is of interest in here, so we need to get up here through oh, an axe through somewhere and there's a few yards there. Ah, climb up there, jump. I should deal with you then. I just love the fucking coat, alright? Just gotta say that, I love the coat. Is that flower? Might be. No, it's not. Then the idea was that we... Ah, okay, hold on. There's something there. Uh, I guess these levers actually does something. Ah, 
Ah, it moved the ladder, okay. And we are gonna probably just fall here instead. So that is gonna move this lever over there, then just like this, yes. That is gonna lower that one then maybe. moved over the uh, timer for a second there. Uh, got that one, I believe that's this one. My sister... Yep. It's, it reeks of cats, alright. Now sir, I'd like you to just move on. Please, sir, move on. I also want to jump and foot stump you right now, but you know, the game won't let me. professional like a genius <laughs> genius hello glamour sorry, sorry to have kept you waiting a feeling I'm missing like half of there is another critter here <coughs> and a scent and a riddle I smell fresh air up ahead, just across this pit. Oh, brr, I don't like being up quite so high, Mr. Liam. It's all right, Glimber. Look, it's just a mine cart, perfectly safe. I promise I won't let you fall. I suppose I could be brave. I'd best make sure this track's properly aligned. I think I already found his scent though. Yep, I have. Good. Ooh. Over here first. Yeah, we push him right now. He be dead in like ten <laughs> seconds. That's not where we want to go though, so... There we go. I don't trust this, but... To what happened with your now son? <laughs> I don't trust this. That's no 
not what we wanted. Okay. <laughs> That's not what we wanted. So it was that way then. Okay. <laughs> Smell fresh. Ooh, Very my good man. Oh, he's a I good, good man. <clears throat> Again, your nose. Oh, nice. See? It's all right. Over. Oh, we don't be liking that. No siree. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my bad. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Limber, do you mind if I ask you some things as we move about? Oh, her, not at all, Mr. Liam. What'd you be wanting to know, her? Glimber, what are moles like? I hate to admit, but I haven't met any. Uh, her, moles be like moles, Mr. Liam. I think the best part of being a mouse is being able to fit through just about any hole or crack. Oi, er, you mousy folk never failing to squeeze through them tiniest of holes, er. Hmm. What are moles best at? Oh, that'd be an easy one. Digging and being muscly. <laughs> I believe it. You've got to be brawny to move all that dirt around. It's true that we moles be the strongest of all the woodlanders. Ooh. Maybe even the vermin too, or if I do say so myself. Mm. I bet you're even stronger than badgers. Oh yes, um, much stronger than them badgers. Um. <laughs> right. Uh, super sad. Glinda, why were you hiding back there? Oh, I was hiding from the vermin, course, sir. What else will I be doing? I mean, why aren't there any other moles here? What exactly is Camp Silver Sands? Camp Silver Sands be a mining camp, of course. Mm -hmm. A mine, right. But what do you mine here? Oh, or lots of various ores and whatnot. Some silver, or some sands, or some ores we be digging up be going to Red Wall. Will there be used for building or for mashing down into medicinals? Old Formal himself be working there sometimes. Or there be a rumor in my family that my old grandpappy was a Formal once. Of course, that be the rumor in every mole family. Or and Formal is leader of the moles. I at Red Wall, yes, um. What's your job here at the mine? That'd be depending on the season, Mr. Liam. Er. What do you do in the winter, then? I be the winter groundskeeper here at the camp, er. mm -hmm. so I be protecting camp from them nasty thievesies and squatters and making sure the gear doesn't be icing over. Er. You mean like the rats? Oh, er, yes, um, I suppose like rats. But there's nothing Merch no more can do against a vermin horde. Er. What's your job in summer? Well, in summertime, I be working with the other moles, or digging deeper in the cliffside, mining, and building a dam up tall and strong, or I do like using my digging claws, or make me feel like a right digging mole, or... All right. We should possibly be looking for more of them mousy refugees, Mr. Liam, or... So we can be getting out of camp soon as possible. Yes. Let's find Sophia and get out of here. They're not missing anything, no? Okay. Oh jeez. <laughs> Liam turned dark for a moment there. <laughs> Agitated, friend. Agitated, friend.
You know, I don't know much about mole culture, Glimba. We being quite simple folk, really. Do you go to school right in your villages? Well, we be going to school right here in the mines, er. Some of us, at least, er. We moles be practical critters, we be. So dib in school for us be apprenticing. No time for reading and writing. We could be digging, her. <laughs> you can't read or write, Glenda? Oh, no, Mr. Liam. We don't have time for likes of that. Few moles do. Um, except that one fellow. What be his name? Her. Soil Burr, I do believe. Oh, her. Soil Burr? That's Egbert the Scholar, right? I think I've heard of him. Er, he didn't like the ways of the mole. We don't talk about him much here. We should possibly be looking for more. Yes. Let's... All right, let's go. <coughs> All right, so... Where does this cart end up? Er, uh, I've been using this one in a long while. But you be leading right down on camp where and moles live in the summer. Oh, oh, in that warehouse your mousy friends be heading. Oh. Right, let's go. Hold on to your stomach. Oh, brr. I don't like this. I don't. 